Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and we are coming off a loss last week, but we're going up against Arizona this week. But at least we have some good news going into this week. We have our first commits here, Tyree Jordan, and unfortunately, we do not land another kicker. We miss out on Dylan Johnson again and a guard, Armando Kowalski, but we do get good news on defense. We get a defensive tackle of the future in Igor Vishikov, and then Champagne Green uh, commits as well. So this is going to be, you know, an interesting season. This is a pivotal season. I think if we want to compete with these big teams, especially seeing the loss we had last week versus UCLA, it's evident that we don't have the athletes, so we need to get these guys as we have the 72 ranked recruiting class early on to start this season. So we are going up against this Arizona team. And remember, this was a team that dominated our first few years in this dynasty. And now I think they're kind of in a rebuild state. You see they're at the bottom of the conference here. Two and four on the season. And Joyner is going into his second season as the full-time starter. But just look at their season. I mean, they started out 2-0, and beating BYU and FCS, and have fallen four straight in a row. So, you know, Joyner is more of a pocket passer, but he can run the ball. He has some passing skills, but he is a little bit mobile. But look at them. I mean, they have definitely a different defense to replace. Remember last year they were built with All-Americans, and this year they're led by a true freshman at the outside linebacker position. So here we go. We're out on defense to start this game. Here's Jamari Jordan running an option, giving it off to Smith on this play on a second and one carry, and he's picking up the first down on that one. So now at the 47-yard line, here is Joyner from the shotgun, facing a little bit of pressure. He's going to throw this one on the run, that? and that's picked off by Andrew Jordan, the true freshman for his second interception of the young season. And take another look. I don't know what Jordan did on that. He must have panicked because Andre Armstead was right there, and he throws an interception, and we take over. This is a good start to this one. So here, back out on offense, Drayvon Jennings with a throw over the middle. He's got Raheem Akusi, the red shirt sophomore, there for 23 yards and a first down. So second and six from the shotgun. Here is Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to use his power and get inside the five-yard line as he's had a pretty good balance of yards rushing and passing this season as he gives it off to Denzel Knox, who finishes off this drive. And we start out this game 7-0, way better than our last one. So here's Arizona back out onto the field, handing the ball off to Smith is Joyner. He's only picking up two yards on that carry, bringing it to a second and eight from the shotgun. A throw to the left side and man coverage. We're getting beat, and that's Gas giving up the 18-yard reception, actually 20 yards. And that's a first down. So second and nine, Joyner scrambling out to the right side. He runs up the middle for eight yards and picks up a nice game, making it a third and one. Running the option this time, getting swallowed up. That's James Will Smith. And I don't think either way it goes. If you would have pitched that, I don't know if that would have been deflected or not, but that's a punt. Two of them actually won in a turnover to start this game. So Jennings back out onto the field, this time getting hit by Hill on that one, making it a third and 10. Here's facing some pressure. Here's a throw out to the right side. He's got Jamal Taylor for 14 yards, and that's a first down as we move the ball close to the 40. Denzel Knox next to Jennings on this play, running the counter to the right side. He's getting hit on that one as Denzel Knox had a pretty good start to the season. He's still be getting into the end zone, but definitely not getting the yards as expected, but here's a throw to the outside. There's Raheem Akusi keeping his feet in bounds. And that's a big third down catch. So now past the 50 yard line here on a third and eight, throw across the middle. There's Jay Taylor getting open for 19 yards. We've been using him in the passing game more and he can receive the ball. Remember, we knew that coming into last season when we did recruit him and he gets open on that one. So after losing second two yards on the first down carry on a second and 12, throw out to the right side. There's Jamal Taylor picking up seven, bringing it to a third and five. So Denzel Knox back in the game, giving it off to him. And he's not picking up five yards enough for the first down, only two. And we had to settle for the field goal, making it 10-0 to start out this game. Joiner back out of the field. First throw is picked off by Isaac Tagia. 
And wow, what a change of momentum. As look at the start to this game going in from last game. I mean, we could not do anything on offense last game. Pretty much UCLA was shutting us down both on offense and they did what they wanted on uh, killing our defense as well. And here we go back out onto the field. As there's a throw to Raheem Akusi on the outside on the wheel route, getting inside the 10 yard line just about. So first and 10 throw across the middle. There's Jamal Taylor this time, the, brig the bigger brother of Jay Taylor. And that's an easy pitch and catch. Nobody was even there over the middle of the field. And that's a touchdown. If you haven't noticed, I actually made a change to the offense a little bit. I'm no longer using hot routes at all. So the play I call from the huddle is the play I am going to use. And a lot, some of you guys did point that out in the comment section. So I am deciding to use that. I'm not calling hot routes at all on offense. On defense, I'll still call them. But on offense, I'm not going to call them at all. And it kind of gives us a realistic type of feel as we can't always just audible to a easier play i can still audible i'm still gonna switch from a pass to a run but no hot routes which allow slant routes across the middle so back to the action there's a tackle by sherman kurtz who actually is starting this game remember we recruited him as a juco defensive tackle but neil bonds ended up beating him out but now he's getting a start in this one i want to see how he does so arizona inside the five yard line here is joiner with the throw to the outside he's got gun on the ends in the end zone and keeping his feet in bounds that's a nice catch and they cut this lead down to 10, 17 to seven. So back out onto the field under center to start out this next drive. Here's a toss out to Jay Taylor. He's got a lot of room to the outside and he makes one man miss and spins inside and gets tackled for a 32 yard gain. And wow, we are just rolling on offense. Even on defense, we're playing pretty good to start out this game. So handoff to the right side. Here's Denzel Knox picking up 11 yards. He's finally getting going on the ground. That's a gain of 11. So at the 11 yard line, handoff to the right side. Here's Denzel Knox following his blocks, only picking up three, but making it inside the 10 to a third and three try. Under center this time, Drayvon Jennings faking it to the running back, and that's gonna be a toss out to Kasiri Robinson. Not enough for the first down, that's a gain of nothing. And we settle for another field goal, and we make it 20 to seven. Back out onto the field. Here's our defense. Joiner going to scramble out to the left side. He's getting tackled by Isaac Tagia, who was there on the spy, making it a second and eight. So down by 13 points. Joiner going to move along a little bit. He's going to scramble out to the left side and take a big hit from Michael Cummings. I'm surprised he didn't fumble that one, but he holds on to it, making it a third and four. Screen pass out to the left side. Here is a tackle once again by Michael Cummings. And man, does he not let much get past him. And he forces the punt here for Arizona. Jamal Taylor back to receive this one. He's going to take this one to the left side. He's going to get around the first guy, get around the second guy. He's got a lot of room. He's going to cut inside. And he's going to get tackled at about the 43-yard line. Let's take a look at the offenses by the totals. We are closing in on 200 yards to end this half. So 45 seconds left. Here's Jennings. From the shotgun, gonna throw this one deep. He's got Matt Pollard inside the five yard line and that's a gain of 36. Take another look, Matt Pollard with the great route downfield. He doesn't run a lot of those downfield routes but sets us up inside the 10. So a toss over the middle. Raheem Akusi's getting open and that's another touchdown. Make that 27 to seven to start this game and look at Man, our offense is just rolling. Jennings, he's got two touchdowns, only six incompletions as we lead 27 to seven going into half. So now to start the second half, here is Jennings out onto the field to lead this offense yet to maybe another scoring drive. Here's a draw play to start the second half here to Denzel Knox. He's only picking up a gain of four as he's been held in check so far this game. Third and six, snap to Jennings. Five wide out, here is Jennings, gonna make one man miss, throw across the middle. He's gonna find Carl Wolf open, and that's gonna be a flag on the play, so a face mask, another 15 yards, and that's a big gain. That's like a gain of about 45, 50 yards. So now here is Denzel Knox, getting the handoff up the middle. He's picking up nine, as now we're trying to get this running attack going on the draw play. They're not expecting this one, and there is Denzel Knox picking up a gain of 12, 
And now we're inside the five. Can we make it yet another touchdown? Hand off to Jay Taylor, and he's in. Touchdown, five yards out. And wow, what a turnaround from last week. We cannot stop UCLA at all on offense. And look at this, 34 to seven here in the third gotcha, quarter. Bitch. So it's now to start the next drive. Here's a sack by Jamar Hardy. He's been pretty good this season. I like what I see from him, the senior, and he makes it a second and 15. Joyner throw out to the left side. He's got his receiver, Dixon, for only a gain of six, bringing it to a third and eight. So Joyner from the shotgun, this time facing gotcha, a blitz, bitch. and he's getting sacked this time from Andre Armstead. He thought of that first interception he threw earlier when Armstead was in his face. This time he holds on to it and we force a punt, 34 to seven, wow. So here's a throw across the middle, finding Jamie Navarro, and look at who's in. That's Jamie Navarro, the guard. That's how thin we are at tight end, and that's why our recruits at tight end this year are just so crucial, because we do need some backups at tight end, as our guard is our backup. So here across the 15 yard line, here's Jennings throwing out to the middle of the field. He's got Jay Taylor for a touchdown. So each of the Taylor brothers get a receiving touchdown in this game. And look at this, man. We're up 41 to seven here, not even to the fourth quarter yet. So Joyner on the next drive, throw out to the flats. He's got his tight end Adams, who's picking up a gain of 13. And that's a first down at about the 47 yard line. So first and 10, throw out to the left side. He's got Adams again, picking up a gain of 18. And they're moving the ball pretty well on this drive so far. But second and 10, here's Joyner scrambling out gotcha, to the right bitch. side. He's getting sacked this time by Isaac Tagia, the leader on the defense. And he's gonna be really missed as we gotta replace him come next year. So now on a third and 12, screen pass out to the right side. He picks up eight yards, Darius Smith. But he doesn't pick up the first as Arizona actually lines up to kick the field goal, maybe even conceding a little too early. But now they're down by 31, and I don't know if they had much of a shot in this one at all, as here our backups are in on offense as Matt McDonald, the senior, comes in as he hands the ball off to J Jay Taylor on the counter play, picking up five yards. And we're now into the fourth quarter here on a third and three, handing it off to Trey White. The quarterback that actually gets in on offense now, he's picking up 12 yards, and that's a first down gain of 12. So now at the 45, here's Matt McDonald scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna throw across the middle, though. He's gonna find Carl Wolf, but he can't hold on to that one. That's his first incompletion. First pass thrown of the game, and he makes it a second and 10. Throw out to the right side. There's Jamie Navarro, the guard. Wow, it's pretty funny to see a guard out there getting receiving yards, but it's possible and he picks up the first down. Throw over the middle. Here's Raheem Akusi still in the game. He's picking up nine yards, as when you do the formation subs or the mass substitutions, they only move your third wide receiver up to the one. They don't sub out all three wide receivers. They just move those two out. So here's a throw across the middle that time to Trey White, making it a third and one. So from the shotgun, counter play out to the right side. Jay Taylor's getting tackled for a loss of two yards bringing it to a fourth and three. So I just want to go for it just to see what Matt McDonald can do here. Scrambling out to the right side, and that's going to be incomplete to Jamie Navarro, but that's no problem because we go on to win this game 41-10, to 10, and what a comeback from last week. I mean, last week we couldn't stop anything on offense, on defense actually, and we couldn't really get anything on offense as well. We were struggling quite a bit, and UCLA took care of business well, but we take care of business at home here versus Arizona is the rebuild is true for them because they have fallen off. They were the, one of the top teams in our conference two years ago, and now it just doesn't seem like they are there, and they are at the bottom of this conference. So this was a really good win. I, I got to admit, I love what I saw from our receivers. I love what I saw from our defense. Most of all, we balled out. The pass rush was there. The defensive backs were there. We only gave up one touchdown, and... That's the type of victory you want to see after losing the game like we did last week. And we actually held them to two of nine on third down. That's pretty big. So that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we are going up against the other Arizona team, Arizona State. So you don't want to miss that one. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.